All right, so today we're going to take a look at using the AGM-65D, specifically in pre- and bore modes, starting from the mission editor. So here we are at an airport. We've got an F-16 right here in front of us. And uh, starting from the mission editor, we got to head on over to set our waypoints. Here we are. We've got waypoint one. It's directly on top of that S-300, SA-10. And then I've got waypoint two, which is at this SA-6, all right? So there are man pads that are surrounding uh, both of these uh, SAM sites, but uh, we'll get into that later. Okay, so here we are in the cockpit of the F-16C. Step one for me is to go to air to ground on the uh, ICP. So click that right there. Step two is going to be to turn on the right hard point to make sure the TGP has power. All right, so a closer look at the right MFD. Go ahead and turn on the Maverick power manually. And then from there, once that's on, I can click TGP or any one of these bottom OSB buttons. Click them twice. It'll get you to this screen right here where you can select weapon, WPN. It'll say not timed out because the Maverick Seeker is warming up at this point. Leave this at hot over cold. It's got the AGM-65 Delta right here where it says Viz. I'm going to change that to Pre so that the Seeker is slaved to the prepositioned uh, waypoint that we talked about in the mission editor. Click it twice, it's now on pre. We'll go ahead and brighten up the screen so you can see that a little bit better. All right, so it's warming up. Left MFD. We'll go ahead and click on test or any one of these a couple of times. Select TGP, left OSB right here, and it says not timed out, not uh, sensor of interest, that's okay. Select standby, and I'm going to select air to ground. Go ahead and bring the brightness up real quick. Okay. So that's it for on the ground right now regarding the left and right. So the TGP is warmed up. We can go ahead and change right here where it says man for manual handoff. We're going to select um, auto. So click it once. It is now on auto. The right MFD, the seeker head is still warming up. So we'll go ahead and take care of some other issues with startup for the jet countermeasures radar warning receiver stuff like that all right so we're going to make the left mfd our our sensor of interest so down on a display management down on a display management you can see that it's the soy or a sensor of interest because it's got a white box around it. So let's go ahead and get in the air and see how this weapon is employed.
Last arm on. We're going to use Nape of the Earth or uh, Terrain Masking to get in close to this SA-10. It's got some man pads and an SA-6 protecting it. Altitude. Altitude. That SA-10's got me locked up, or it's at least tracking me right now. We'll have to make a hard right towards our run-in. Pretty close to the IP. Here we go. All right, we're 11 miles out. That Sam will probably take a shot at me. Yep. Get nice and low. We're nine miles out. Press up on the TMS to send the seeker head towards it. And we're gonna come up. Rifle. Rifle. Cat Blair. Altitude. Altitude. So it looks like we missed that SA-10. So we're going to have to come back in. Rifle. Good. So we took out the man pad and the tracking radar. Excellent. I hope that this video helped some of you with the clarity regarding the Maverick starting from the mission editor all the way up to its deployment.